if we expect a little from God, we receive a little. If we expect more from God, we receive more and much from God. My dear friend, we have the Gospel of John chapter 16 verses 29 to 33 for our reflection today. Jesus said to them, take courage, I have conquered the world. Jesus noticed the doubts his disciples had because of the information he gave them about his departure from this world. He knew that they would not be able to cope with the challenges they would soon face after his leaving. Then they will be scattered into different directions. He tells them not to be discouraged but to stand with him. Jesus speaks to the discouraged, desperate and frustrated disciples about two gifts. The gift of peace and the gift of courage. In one of his articles, Anthony de Mello wrote, The house is on fire, and we are passing through a period of chaos and crisis. A crisis is a challenge to grow. When we look around, we see the realities around us, and we would definitely agree with the statement of Anthony de Mello as we reflect about the impact of the novel coronavirus. Millions of people have lost their life, lost their dear ones. Many are jobless today. There is financial crisis, the burning issues and the exiles of the migrant laborers. Flooding and cyclone on the other side. Depression and anxiety develop during these days of lockdown. Yes, we are the desperate, discouraged and frustrated disciples. It is to us that Jesus gives, the, gives us the gift of peace and the gift of courage. Peace comes from knowing that God will be always with us. Courage comes from knowing that He will shine out in our weakness, in our human weakness, when we try to live in the light of the gospel. Jesus is reassuring us that He is in control and we will overcome. St. John of the Cross says, If we expect a little from God, we receive a little. If we expect more from God, we receive more and much from God. Let us believe in the assurance of Jesus and expect a miracle at this time of crisis. May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen.